Yeah, exactly, Chris Nadine. So what Mayor John Gunter said was what they want to do moving forward is really start pressing the federal government for quicker response times, specifically when we're talking about emergency housing. That's what brings me here to this RV park off of Burnt Store Road. So just yesterday, Cape Coral City leaders, they actually confirmed for us that FEMA, four months after Hurricane Ian, are just now starting to move in over 100 trailers, RV trailers, into this RV park behind me. And they say it's a response like this that they want to see sooner rather than later. No, we have people living in homes that shouldn't be, uh, but they have nowhere to go. Cape Coral Mayor John Gunter not holding back on his feelings for FEMA, upset of what he says is a slow response for emergency housing. Those feelings felt at a State of the City discussion hosted by the Cape's Chamber of Commerce. Was it two days? We finally got our first uh, um, FEMA trailer. From the first trailer to over 100 now being moved into the Tranquility Lakes RV Resort off Burnstore Road, where a Cape Coral spokesperson tells us FEMA started this process just one day ago. A timeline Mayor Gunter says they want to improve for future storms. Our part is to make sure that we communicate uh, to the right people that, hey, this di didn't work this time. And looking at other aspects like the city's emergency operations center. Honestly, our EOC now uh, isn't... Uh, to the size it needs to be. Creating additional space uh, in the EOC is one of our projects. Expanding the city's EOC to improve communication response times during hurricanes is something I've talked with Chief Lamb about before and after he gave an update during his State of the City discussion about funding the now approved project. We're looking at things like our state um, for through appropriations and then something uh, called a hazard mitigation grant through the federal government. Possible solutions to issues Mayor Gunter says are now being looked at as part of the city's self-assessment Phase moving forward. If the community thinks or has a suggestion of how we could have responded better as a city, uh, we're open to hearing that dialogue. Mayor Gunter went on to say that if you did want to provide your input to reach out to your district's council member. Now, I made that easy for you. There's a link on our website right now, fox4now.com, that can take you directly to that homepage for all of Cape Coral's council members. And as for this FEMA trailer park behind me here, we did reach out to FEMA earlier today, asking them who's going to be filling these trailers and when we can start seeing these families moving in. Now, as of tonight, we have yet to receive their response, but we'll continue to update you as this story moves forward. Live in Cape Coral tonight, Colton Chavez. Fox 4. All right.